All right, so like I said, hopefully the last batch of war crimes, there's one little bit of prep work I want to do here. We'll do it in Xanadu. Is I was looking at who's allowed to hire what. Because Tristan and Ash are supposed to be special characters. Ash doesn't have anything special. Tristan does. Specifically, he can hire mages if he's a unit leader. Which is great because mages we were having a fucking massive problem with. And if I'm lucky, he'll hire them around his level. So we can hire a bunch of level 26 mages. Not, not, what the fuck? Make a unit. I was looking at view status. Hmm, Tristan. That's it. Just pop into a level. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if you can hire things between missions. You must be able to. That would be very, very unforgiving. All right, let's deploy Tristan here. I'm not actually sure if he can hire in the base. So he's gonna move here and, what can he hire? One sec, what are my notes? He should be able to hire. Yeah, knights, samurais, mages and shamans and mermaids, which is a lot of shit. So I'm very glad we got Tristan on this playthrough. But specifically the mages. We can just hire a bunch of mages to guard our base. And, because we have those rings, we can turn them into sorcerers. Palins are executed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Mage. $4,000. He must be like a level 25 mage. I want an entire unit of mages, because we might have to put a lot of buffers in our base for these last couple missions. I do have $2 million. We should be fine. All right. Do I have junk? Yeah, no, I really don't. I sold most of my stuff. I have those relic blades, which... What's a relic blade go for? 28,000 goth. And you know what? We're never going to attack, really, with our other units. They'll just be screening stuff for mages. So I'll sell all these relic blades for some more walking around bucks break the 2 million mark and then I want to see the status of these mages that we hired he's 28 level 26 mages look at that that's how you defend your base when you're a millionaire and then we can turn some of these guys into uh, sorcerers. I mean, technically, we could also demote them into level 26 fighters and then re-promote them into level 26 paladins, if we're careful. Hey, Wags. Um, this should be the last one. I hope it's the last one. We have enough time for this to be the end of the game, but I'm really worried about getting fucked at the end of the game. Because I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I know two things about the final battle. Is one is they basically get infinite reinforcement, so like we can't just hide in the base and kill everything. I have to like run to the boss before I get overwhelmed. And it's at least two boss fights. I don't know if I get to heal or what, but I also don't know if I have to beat them in one go. I don't know if I have to like retreat. And the, the whole fight resets or not. But I should buy some Jokers, actually, for that reason. Because this is, this is my concern, is if the final boss beats me up and I have to retreat, and I'm out of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, is we're fucked. So. I have three staffs. I think I technically have a demon soul, don't I? No, I sold it for some walking around money. Well, we can make three sorcerers.
So they don't get a third attack like the Lich, but they get two attacks and we have way more. Because I'm probably going to put Saradin in with my hero. And we're just going to we're going to not use the the monk. We're just going to heal with items. And we're just going to blow the fuck up out of anything we see. Okay. And then Tristan can go back to his main unit. And we're going to steal Saradin. Where is he? There he is. We don't want this monk anymore. No, wait, I'm dumb. We can swap the monk for Mercury. So we'll lose Mercury's Thunder, but we'll gain three attacks with Lich. And then we still have the monk to keep everybody alive, which is probably the smarter play. But I changed my mind. I want Mercury to be there when we curb stomp the fucking Empire. So never mind. And then where did I put that monk? No, wait, that, that, I don't want the monk. I specifically don't want the monk. I want the slitch. There, so I do seven screen white attacks with this unit, and then both my frontliners hit three times. So you would be in a lot of fucking trouble against whatever survives this. But for the most part, we're just going to nuke everything we see. And then hopefully we have enough cure-alls and stuff. That's basically it. We have empresses for the bosses, but... And technically, when it is a boss, we can play an emperor. But I don't want to do that on this one. I want to save the emperor for the final, final map. This unit will be registered, though. All right, and then now we need to make one that is a... Uh, we need our base defense mage unit. Which isn't this screen. All right, level 26 Sorcerer Thompson. Hello, Mr. Thompson. What about undead boots away and use another unit? Oh, you make an incredibly good point. Tristan can still kill things. He has the Holy Sword Brunhild. Damn it, I made that unit wrong. It's fine. Then I just need two beef boys to go in front. I don't even have anything that beefy to defend as the problem. Should have hired some knights. Some level 26 knights. All right, don't let me down. Completely nameless unit of mercenaries. Where are they? There they are. Actually, what does Mercury do? Like 300 hit points, strength 186. No, she really shouldn't be in the front. I only get two slices anyways. I feel this Bolt Orb isn't a good pick anymore. I'm not even sure if it increases the damage of Thunder. Ah, oh, I really want Mercury to beat up all the bosses for the dialogue. But you make an incredible point about Liches. We'll wing it. If I get in over my head, we'll find out, and then we'll just retreat.
I think hitting the whole screen is better than putting her in the front, especially now that we have things that attack three times. We'll just go with this. We'll see what happens. Uh, I didn't fuck my save up, so we'll save it. Okay. Uh, it, the map says Zedigeni Age, so I think this is their capital city. Scene 28, Ogre Battle. All right, well, we're on the box now. There's boss. Oh, look at that. It's part of the town from last time. That's neat. Anyways, we need Kate to get up there. Get us a good boot. I'm um, here. We can kind of swim in. And then Thompson is our mercenary unit. $18,000. Just hired a bunch of dudes in uh, Z Zenobia. Hey, you want to help us overthrow the Empire? Yeah, I guess. For 18000 bucks. Okay. Go Rebels. And then Mercury's also just going to walk there. I am hoping that the Liches attack faster than the enemy can damage me. Have I fought a single Ogre? I haven't. I think ogres are just like demons that we all banished to the underworld ages ago. I don't know. I'm sure the tactics games explain all that shit better than this. Story definitely moves very slow because the battles are all so long. So the story is kind of far between in this one. I do not wish to return Thompson to the base. Thank you. Off we go. Just swim right across the frigid waters, Mercury. I like the way you think. I mean, we do have liches. Half the unit probably doesn't give a shit that we're in the snowy north. Kate is on... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna fucking... Kate is moving so fast, I might just boots her right into this. Attacked by a neutral character. If they're mermaids, I swear to God. Low-level chumps. It, it, uh, okay, a, a single dude flying over the ocean thought this was a good idea. Goodbye. The underworld was mentioned very briefly because we did fight that one demon. Oh, this guy's uh, a little unexpected, but we can boots there. Okay, so this will be this will be where we hold the line. Actually, what the hell are you? You're not an evil one. Oh, it's Gary's. That's a problem. Um. Hmm. Let's go for it, because if I can get to that temple, we're right there. Like, we're going to have this in the bag if I can boots myself to that temple. But their whole army's going to be walking right by if I'm unlucky. I am fucking 100% unlucky. Get the fuck out of there. Suppose just a little gander, see if I'm up against any spookies. I am... We'll still be fine. Get back to that fucking town, Kate. I don't think I want to, but I'm going to. Ooh. That is lucky. Am I no longer a human being? Over the past 25 years, I've lost all human rights and no longer know what I am. Okay, I don't think your average medieval peasant would philosophize on that sort of thing, but I only have 12 all heals. We definitely got to fucking buy a lot of those now that we fired the monk. 
Where are my boots? Where are my booties? There they are. I'm a little worried about Gary's attacking the base. I guess we'll see. Gary's is too strong. I might have to, uh, well, I can boots back and kill him, I guess. Let's see how tough you are, Thompson. They can't heal themselves, can they? No, they just have to blow him up. And it's going to be tricky. Please go. It's your turn to go, fellas. I'm not blown away by this unit so far. Okay. That's a terrible problem. This is what our magical boots are for, though. Holy sword on a bad guy, so there you go. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, we really should have used that monk. Well, now he's gone, so. Hang on, this is why we have 30 pairs. This is a terrible idea. We're probably going to use every single boot just winning this. I have to find the trade city is the problem and hold it. Because we're kind of low on heals for playing really lazy. All right, let's see how good this Brunhild's going to be. Well, just Tristan needs to hit that guy again and we're out of here. Yeah, I guess I never noticed how much staying power that monk gives the unit. Um, Are you okay? Did you crawl back yet? Because if you guys can't hold the line against regular dudes, I that really throws a wrench in my whole strategy. They're literally all ignoring me. All right, well, I guess we'll just win. Holy fuck, he's coming back. I don't think I'll make it in time. Because I got to swim across this shit. Well, hang on. If Kate can fly over in boots... I'm sorry, did you completely delete yourself? Deploy Thompson? Oh, this unit can't be deployed, excuse me. I thought that's explicitly why you run home. Oh. He's just not part of the battle anymore. That's horrible news. So Mercury's on Boots Patrol. Wait. Oh, that's why. No, wait. Hmm, hmm. That one kind of fell apart on us.
My reputation's also plummeting because uh, we lost. If I fuck this up again, I'm just going to load the game. That was a very bad first attempt. So it's definitely a problem that Garys flies right to the rebel base and for some reason he comes back to life. Times like this, I wish I had a fortune card because I can just play fortune against them so I can fly to this uh, temple. But I might actually have to just sit on the base with just Mercury. I'm pretty sure Gears is going to intercept her if I do this. Hey, wait a second, I still own that town. No fucking way. Don't mind me. I said don't mind me. I didn't plan this through. They all fly right down this way anyways. Way too many flyers. There's the walkers. Yeah, the problem is, is Gary doesn't give a shit that I own the town. So that's, that's the greasy way to get there, but I didn't do it right. Do I wish for the card? You bet I do. The Hermit. Hmm, no thanks. I found an item, a black bow. You shouldn't have. Have you discovered the power of Garys? Until now, you've not been fighting the real Garys. What? Not his real body. Due to the power given him by Rashidi, he's able to send his spirit out of his body. The Garys you fought at Avalon, Shangri-La, and Zedigenia was actually only the spirit of Garys. You're only fighting his animated armor. To defeat him, you must find where his body is. You must fight him in the flesh. He's probably hiding in some safe place, sending dummies out after you. Man, I wish I could do that. Alright, well, we can try to just boots Mercury back. Because if we can have the whole army... Whoop. Not to a town, huh? Okay. That makes my strategy a lot less impressive. And then I think Garys is just going to go right to the base anyways and take it. Who is this? Uh-huh. Two evil ones. Like, nothing's happened. What is this? This is like a lich tutorial battle. I just gotta get there. All right, now they care. Now they care that Mercury's there, but. I think Geary's will still try to gang bang my base. What are my tarot cards? I have empresses and emperors. I have stars and worlds. Oh, thank Okay, we win. As long as Garys turns around, we win. Is I'm sorry, is that two Garys's? Would you look at the time? Goodbye. Oh no, they took the temple. We'll just recuperate this reputation if we actually pull this off somehow. The hard part will be finding 
I was probably finding Gary's. Ah, uh, but yeah, Kate's not participating in this battle right now. He should change his mind. He should realize his mistake and come after me. All right. So our plan did work, but I don't think we can do this without a muck. I think they'll chip away at us quicker than we can regenerate in the town. Especially if he just keeps casting Evil Dead. Ah, that's a very good outcome, actually. Goodbye. Oh no shit, a bunch did go right to the base. All right, Thompson, you have to you have to hold your ground because we can't defend the base in the final battle with just Mercury. That's they're going to cast acid 6 times. I'm fighting my my own gross unit. Okay, these fucking idiot sorcerers are too slow. This is a huge problem here. Like, congrats, fellas, but you got, like, shit HP. I gotta give them an all-heal here. All-heals aren't too expensive for how rich I am, but... I think... Uh, I think hired units are weaker, is the problem. Like, sorcerers aren't incredible to begin with, but... I think their stats are worse because we hired them rather than train them ourselves, but I mean, there's, we're not training up units right now. We're way too deep in the game. Whoop. This is very worrying how slow they are. He just got deleted again. I think Saradin has to hang back. We can't go double lich. Yeah, he just removed himself from the fucking battle again. I healed most of it. Ooh, a merchant was in the enemy unit. That's good. That's a nice one. Gotta burn a bunch of revives, except I waited too long and he just fucking undeployed himself, didn't he? I can't... I'm trying to revive him. Ah, we might have flubbed it again. Because that guy is going to the base. What if I make a swim for it? I don't think I can edit undeployed units. No, you're right, that does do it. It's a hot tip. Sub that monk into that unit's never gonna make it.
deploy Thompson again. Third time's the charm. So now I won't swim for it. Here comes a goon. Oh, sorry, I am swimming for it. River battle. Oh, they have mages. Another reason to have the monks, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this double lich unit. Unless I outrun their mages and then win immediately. Goodbye. I'm worried about Gary's. If Gary's goes to the base again, I don't think Thompson's going to win. That is a lot of fucking evil ones. You really need to fight, though, Thompson. I need a unit that can hold the base for the final battle. What are you doing? Hang on, hang on. I want to see who this is. These are the guys that walked. Monk. Monk's in the front. I don't know what Monk's doing in the front. Ninja Master. Ninja Master and some golems made of solid iron. All right, well. Trial by fire for our mercenaries. God damn it. Come on now. Maybe I should make the leader the monk so she can take a few hits. Because they seem to be prioritizing leader. We call that a close one. Holy shit. Of course you're out. You're in charge. Yeah, I mean, 28 battles in, 120 hit points isn't a lot. I'm going out for a swim, apparently. I'm on my way. I think I might just gun for the boss here, try to end the war. Especially if everybody's having a fucking canoe competition over here by Thompson. Well, it's Pablo's unit now. She's commandeered it. Fucking low-level scabs can't protect my own base. What am I paying you for? It's wacky that uh, Holy's the only element wizards don't know. I guess that'd make them too strong. They'd be able to do every single thing in the game. I would be so terrified to be this far in the game and not have these liches. All right, don't let me down. You need to hold the line for a few more battles while we attack that castle. I think the monk was what we needed here. Yeah, been there trying to beat her up, but that's not good enough because she's tough. Oh, that's maybe not that tough. A lot of fucking people can hit the back row now.
Uh oh. Also, how how in over my head am I? What level are these guys? They're 25, and I'm str well. I guess you should be struggling to kill an equal level unit in a single skirmish. Oh, he's maybe running. Stupid rivers, it's going to take me forever to get there. Army expenses, yeah, well, you know, you fucking... Running an army's expensive. Fucking weebs in my way. Just walk around them. Okay, I did. I'm almost there, hang on. Turns out we won't be salvaging our reputation here. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, it's the Empress, whoops. So you're the leader of the rebellious fools who destroyed my elite warriors? The Empire's finished. It's time for you to step down. <laughs> Fool, you think that I could lose to you? The people are already beginning to lose faith in you. The people want a new government and a new ruler. Can you not see that? A new ruler? What can you mean? I am their ruler. The Empress Andorra is, an, is the only one who can rule this continent. Here's proof. I think she's going to get the shit slapped out of her. Holy shit, is she going to get the shit slapped out of her. Is that going to hurt? It kind of hurt. I got more baddies though, so it's just you and me, girly. There you go, that's for killing the king. There. Sorry guys swimming, but the war's over. I guess we have to kill Rashidi, that's why there's one more map. Twenty-seven thousand goth for my trouble. Now I might have fucked that map up. We can't earn any more money, so I'm gonna make a second save file here. And I suppose we can hope against hope that there's a princess crown in that map somewhere. All right, yeah, there's like zero fucking treasure on this map. That's great. This is another Kate map, though. Where am I going? I guess this is the closest town. So we basically have $2 million to load up for the final battle. We need all heals, probably some jokers, but mostly we need stat ups for everybody. The free city, a Jedi. Think I'm full up on cards, so I'm not gonna risk any bad draws here. Please save this continent from the hand of evil. Okay. The trade city Brega. Ooh. No. 
Save this gun from the hand of evil. All right. Looks like everybody's pr pretty pissed off at Rashidi now that the Empire has been wiped out. Abletia? All right, I'm not getting a real, uh, not getting a real gossip vibe from this map. There's only one more buried treasure on this map, and that's all the buried treasure in the game. Ahulu. Well, this is just a subscription to a video streaming service. What the hell is a Hulu? Black bow. Dud item. Also dud. Shitbug. I guess that's the other thing about having Sarah in the base is because he's a lich and the lich is the unit leader, they'll try to hit him, but liches are really hard to kill. Glory to the rebel forces and may the gods smile on Zenobia. I hear that, brother. I have an angel in my army. Haljaka. That was an accident. I don't want that. Oh, hello. Sunshines. All right, this is it. The last buried treasure in the game. Well, I think there's buried treasure in the final battle, but I can't really go shuffling around the map digging for it. Oh, it's one of those hard to find treasures. There you are. Don't be something stupid. <laughs> it is. Lord of the Rebel Forces. I didn't see if that town had all heels for sale. Save this gun from the hand of evil, all right. Rashidi escaped with Prince Gary's to the west. Fucking. Guy with his fucking shadow clones dicked off to the shrine of Shalina. Shalina is an evil shrine once used in the worship of demons. Well, I got a lich that let me in. Alright. 
Walled City Metal. Clear the Rebel Forces. Alright, we're going to try one more town and then just head out. The trade city, El Kedda. Thanks to you, we've been able to protect the name of the Highlands. To thank you, I'd like to give you the Sentul Demon. I'm a good guy. God damn it, dude. Hey, great job being good. Got this sweet statue of Hitler for you. Ha, oh, cheese. Magician City, Mislata. Mislata be a magical shit in here. A Tome of Myths? Oh, I found one of those already. Apparently, I do need to visit some of these towns. Yeah, my reputation's pretty much locked in unless we have to retreat from the final battle. Walled city of Azuzal. Hi there. If you were looking for the paladin Gawain, he left for the Shrine of Shalini to find Rashidi. A paladin? I don't think I want to hire new people at this point in the story. It's me, mid-level main character. Oh, no, that's okay. We'll just stick with Mercury. I'm okay. Well, see if I can beat this final battle. I think it could be a little dicey with my strategy. The Shrine City are homies. No, I don't want to pull a card in here. Glory to the Rebel Forces, brother. It was just those two towns that gave me items. That was weird. So I have two million dollars, and we need enough money to pay our taxes while we attack Rashidi. And then I need to invest the rest in stat ups and all heals. Save this kind from the hand of evil. Okay. The magician city Almagi. Save this kind from the hand of evil. All right, I think we can wrap this one up. Just this one guy in this last village. I hope the rebel army comes here. I'll give them this princess crown. All right, Temple Shalina, which I didn't. Can I use a merchant on the map? Whatever, we need to organize our units anyways. All right, so. She goes back. Into the pool, Sheridan. Here we go. I'm doing good.
Who will be the unit leader? Saradin is in charge of this one. And he'll just be with the sorcerers. This unit can't heal itself, though, is a bit of a problem. So I'm going to change it up, give them a cleric, a well, shaman. 26. Two 255 units in the final stage is not going to be fun. It means that I can't turtle like I prefer to. So Saradin's going to have to hold the line while I kind of weave my way into the boss. Um, Thompson, let's get rid of cats, because Thompson, well, Thompson kind of embarrassed himself in Zenobia, or Z Zetagenia was the map. All right, add. Pabloa goes, no, 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 no. Pabloa goes with Mercury. What am I doing? Emily the Shaman goes with Saradin. Yeah, I guess with a monk I can just kind of blow my way through the army as I approach the boss, and then anyone that walks around me has to fight Saradin. Should be fine. Um, Emily. I mean, that's our army, basically. Those two units. I don't think I can even do any sneaky Kate stuff. I think Mercury has to walk right through. All right, now let's see if we can use a merchant on the map. What's a folio? A record of the myths of the gods. I can probably sell that. It's probably a bookstore around here somewhere. Yep. Okay, what's a send tool go for? That is shit. Where am I? No, I don't want to sell it. I want to. I thought I had a merchant. I guess there was no reason for me to have spare merchants. All right, use items. Can't be using the edits item screen, so we got to go into a map briefly. I guess while we're at it, we'll buy some all heals because I don't think the merchant sells all heals. What is a town that sells all heels? Slums of Zenobia sells all heels? I fucking very much doubt that, but if you say so, notes. The city of Philia. There you are. Damn it, I meant to give a remove order.
And then I don't even know what my army costs. Well, hang on. This, this is pretty easy. 17,000 a day, and then Mercury 17,000 a day. So we probably want to keep like $200,000 in reserve for paying my salaries. So we can spend about 1.7 million on stat ups. Which is a lot. The Empire's gone, but who will help the people who live in the slums? I'm not a warmonger. Shut up. Yeah, they sell all heals this early. Really. It's 100,000 goth. That should be more than enough. Alright, then we'll use our merchant. Ding, ding, ding. I'm anywhere, Jack. What do you need? Some HP ups. But no, I mostly want instant agilities. While well, strengths on Tristan would be nice. Give me an int. Okay. I have a star card, so let's just go with some HPs. There. Okay, now we just have a humorously large amount of items to up our stats with, and we just need to make Mercury really, really fucking gross. Well, not actually, Mercury. Mercury's kind of a fucking lightweight in the grand scheme of things. We need to make Mercury's unit tough. Um, clean up. So they stack and stuff. Okay. They have 35 HP ups. Specifically, he needs a bunch. Holy shit! He went from 195 to 215! Alright, so it looks like it's random. I think I maybe bought too many. Let's get let's get him to 300 because then he's as strong as Prince Tristan, and he's very tough. Holy shit! Yeah, no wonder they cost so much. All right, let's get some intelligence up on him. Right now he has 231 intelligence. Okay, goes up by more than one. That's disgusting. Two fifty one. Oh shit. Don't you dare. Don't it fuck it is. It's the kind of game that goes up to two fifty five. Well, I've got a bunch of spare intelligence up. Oops. Hopefully that impacts your ability to heal me. Doesn't give a bunch to Mercury to help out her thunder. I guess in the upside, uh, I think at this point it's just going to be a Hail Mary with Mercury. I bought way too many strengths. Uh, yeah, I think I bought way too many strengths. Because I think both those guys are already over 200. I wonder what the max HP is. Actually, I, uh, never mind. There'd be no way to do it. I was like, I wonder if you could 
put the game on fast forward and just have Mercury guard the base with a monk and like just go to sleep and then wake up and everybody's 99, but you always have to confirm that a battle's about to start. So she she didn't get 255, but she got quite a bit. Um, some HP ups. Let's get the monk's HP up. I'll give HP ups to the base defense unit because they're fucking flimsy as shit. Exactly 300, perfect. All right, here come the strength ups. Strength, yes, yeah, so these guys will hit 255 strength, no problem. Yeah, I've only seen a little bit of gameplay of Ogre Battle 64, and it just se it seems even slower than this game. Oops. Well, she got some strength. Congrats. I think we're fine. I think I'm over planning this final fight. I'm just really worried about what's going to happen if I fuck it up. Because we won't have any money. We won't have any tarot cards. I don't know how to salvage it if I botch this final boss. But I have a feeling we might just beat the shit out of it when we get there. Give him one more. Oops, he's done. 17 strength, that's eight each. So they really need unfortunately that is a fucking massive gap in power compared to my other guys they had like 200 strength without any stat ups Apparently, I didn't give those guys Relic Blades after I said that I won't need Relic Blades. I could have. I could have given them Relic Blades. Oops. They didn't even break 200 strength. Poor guys. Such is life. That first squad's really strong, though. I'm really just, really just banking on shredding everything I see. Because, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how you would beat it otherwise. Like, without liches and without these wacky stat-ups, it seems like it would be freakishly close. I mean, I have been cruising along myself, but seems you know, feast or famine in this game. The random drops go your way or they don't. I think he ended up being stronger. Just luck. Nope, they ended up about the same. Literally the same. Um, I'm going to give a bunch of agility to, I don't even know, 198, 160, 188, 141, 131, actually Asha said agility compared to Tristan. Let's give it all to him.
pretty dramatic unit, though. The Ogre Sword and the Brunhild. And then I have 24 HP ups to give to these guys. One hit point, thanks, Saradin. I think I have to put it all on this sorcerer. I wonder if it's just more powerful at low levels. Because he's gaining like 10 or 12 per use. Is like two each. No, apparently you just get a lot from HP ups. Except that time. <laughs> you can gain between one and 50 hit points. Excuse me, one? See, he got 11. No, 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 not you. Just, all right, everybody, we're going to attack the evil mage Rashidi. Here's your magical steroids. My what? Come on, don't be a bitch. Roll up your sleeve. Sarah, didn't you roll up your uh, bony robe arm? Get some more HP over here. It's a little... Well, I want to say you're all skin and bones, but I think you're all bones. You've got skin still, Thompson. It would be neat to give Mercury 400, but I'm going to try. Why the fuck not? Just drinking the bottom of the magical steroid keg. Put it in my veins. Charisma doesn't do anything because it's all fucked up from all the losing. Well, all the winning. Can I make Emily into a monk? Can I? It's a great question. No, her alignment's a little bit off. Why is it? A charisma. I think you need charisma for monk. Oh well, these guys are super tough now. All right, and then we'll save it in our third slot. Just in case. I really want to save this 27, but I think I've really overplanted it. You guys might be right. I might just fucking kick open the door and just put my fist right in fucking Rashidi's throat and rip it out like the end of Roadhouse. We're going to find out. The Black God. He prefers the term African-American God. All right, there he is. Holy shit. Why does everyone have to build their base over water? That's a temple, so I can't boots. I want Kate to fly here, and then I'm going to boots to save me some walking trouble, but that's about it. That's the extent of Kate's contribution to this battle. I don't think she'll make it. She might. Usually they don't send out their units immediately which gives Kate a lot of time. Huh, Saradin was not fully healed from uh, the drugs. I guess their livers didn't heal fully. I have a lot of boots, I guess, if we have to save the day. 
And then just in case this backfires, I will start marching. Look at fucking snow everywhere. Quickly, back to my base on Tropical Paradise Island. Steel drums are playing during the fight. Why didn't you build your whole empire on Tropical Island? All right, go. Saradin, I've spent hundreds upon thousands of dollars on your unit. You better not fuck this up. I know Mercury won't. You're an angel and lucky to have you here. Let's count on our sky bridge to get us halfway across the map in record time. I would have flown across the river because you're having some trouble with these mountains. Hey, there's another mountain. Let's fly into it. Good work. The thing is, is I don't even want this town. I'm probably going to lose a little bit of rep as they attack. I hope I don't lose so much rep it fucks up one of my endings. Like I'm just at the threshold of a better ending. Go rebels. But I heard you let this uh, skeleton into a town at the last second. So uh, you're evil. What? All right, she made it. It's pretty good. The trade city Famba. This might be uh, the actual, like, merchant for this map. I do not want to pull a card. The remaining forces of the Empire fled to the Temple of Shalina. What could be there? I don't know, man. It is not the merchant. All right, just a quick little swim. And then an incredibly long hike. Whoop. They're not fully healed either. We can just pop an all heal as soon as combat starts. Off we go. Just attack the evil mage Rashidi in the middle of the night. What could go wrong? Well, I'll be that much stronger as well. All right, have fun in my base. I'm going this way. If you get in my way, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I want to see the jump in damage now that we have 255 intelligence and stuff. Thunder, yep, does more damage. Oh, that's pretty good. And that was just because that's how much health they had left. So it might do even more than that. 111 damage. Cause he does pick, holy shit. It's like I'm in the fucking Macy's Day Parade and I'm walking the wrong way. All right, let's see how tough we are. Trying to see how much the Lich does. Okay, he does about 110 damage. Three times, four times with an Emperor card. Goodbye. But yeah, we have to watch out, because normally when we wipe out a unit, it comes back like five or ten times. Each one can come back 255 times on this map, so... We just gotta stab our way through. Samurai's in an angel. Stay away from my waifu. No, wait. No. Oh. We're the good guys. I assure you we're the good guys. Beep, beep. Oh, how far we've come, though. We had that shaky start. I was trying to be overly tactical, juggling a bunch of units that do different things. And then we had the mid-game where I was just an evil necromancer with my ghosts flying around. And now we're just a single unit murdering everything in our way. All right, I think it's clear sailing if Saradin can hang on. If they attack you, Kate, run for your fucking life. 
Am I having trouble with this forest? Cockatrices and a demon. Only the one in the back can petrify. And you fucked it up. See ya. Thanks for the top up. I don't even know how much I heal for. I've never had to... I've never not given them full health. So it's... She can heal for at least 66 to the whole the whole army. All right, here we go, Saren. In moment of truth. I really don't want to... Well, I can't fall back because I can't make it across the whole map in time to save you every time. I guess technically if you wanted to be really greasy on this map, you could deploy as many units as possible because then they get less units because even though we can revive each thing 255 times, there's a sprite limit. Um, I am steamrolling these bitches. There's a sprite limit, so if you just have a bunch of dud units on the map, the Super Nintendo can't handle more, so he's not allowed to spawn more stuff. So he could only have, like, maybe, I don't know, five or six units in play if you were lucky. Probably not. It's probably closer to, like, ten units in play. All right. Don't fuck this up. Close one. Uh, this is the good thing about having Saradin stay behind is even if they're a little tough as he just tanks it all. See you later, fellas. All right. I think we're okay. I think we're about to win this war. They're flying right by Kate because they want the base. All right, I'm slipping right in here. Actually, am I fighting that Dragoner or am I fighting the other ones? I'm fighting the Dragoner. All right, well, you're about to die. Go away, dragons. Get out of here. They're killing everyone, sir. Even the solid gold dragons, especially the solid gold dragons. Even the hawkmen and the evil ones, especially the hawkmen and the evil ones. Okay, I maybe have maybe I was overly intimidated when I read that he can spawn each unit 255 times. Maybe this is overkill. We'll see. We'll see about the bosses. There's at least two. But I think I have four world cards. Like you basically just play a world card on every boss and you're fine. We've been building the perfect Yu-Gi-Oh card deck for this map. Uh-oh. Hey, wait a second. You're one of the rebels. No, I'm not. F. We might win this. The angel should kill everything. Nope, angel only attacks one. Later, gators. Head angel, my ass. You know what? You can keep that town. Yeah, congrats. Congrats on your incredible victory over me. Imagine if I had to fight the boss before that guy can walk the one pixel. I've almost taken the town, sir. The war's over. Oh. Take this. Uh oh. See ya. Go, good guys. I think I'm actually going to fight the boss before that fucking poor wizard can take the town. It's a mage, I think. Yeah, so Thunder hits as hard as Tristan's sword right now. The legendary sword Brunhild, so... 
she really came into her own. Goodbye. Yep. Hello. So you found us. But you're already too late. The ceremony's already begun. Diablo's being reborn as we speak. But fear not. You'll not need to look on the face of Diablo, for you'll die here. I can hear him already. I hear him breathing. And now for you. Holy shit. What should protect me? Skeletons? Are you serious, dude? Okay, four world cards. Four emperor cards. All right, if there's a fourth boss, we're in trouble. A world card will protect us from that stupid spell he loves to cast. And then we got to go weak. So our monk will kill everything. And then we'll play our emperor. For a fourth lich spell. All right, we should win. No, I played the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Doesn't count. Oh, that's spicy! And there go your skeletons. Yeah, I think I beat the shit out of this game. Whoops. I've been panicking for the last three streams. What are we gonna do? Just beating Garys with the blunt end of my sword. Ah! Uh, how can the immortal Garys be defeated? He didn't understand the heart of the cards. You fools! How dare you waste my magic like that? Seems I'll have to take care of you myself. So you're Mercury. You've caused me a lot of problems. That's enough, Rashidi. Stop the ceremony. So the time has come. There's no cheating fate. I give this life to you. But you'll not take it for free. Come, take me. If your power exceeds mine, then you'll see true power. I think he's coming on to me. I have the craziest feeling that Mage Rashidi is going to have trouble against the world card. Because here it comes. Oh, he's a little agile, huh? Take this high level spell. Doesn't count. Don't mind me practically one-shotting your evil ones. Ass, it'll finish him off. Oh no, my skin. You know what? I don't want to play an emperor here. But I'm gonna. I shouldn't have. Absolutely overkill. Way to run him through, Ash. You gotta get that Ash-Tristan synergy for the story. So fate can't be defeated after all. Ha, can you hear it? The breath of Diablo? I was so close. See for yourself. The power of Black Diablo, leader of the ogres. He didn't understand the heart of the cards either. We'll be fine. What's happening? Who dares to disturb my slumber? I am Diablo. I am destruction. My sleep is not to be disturbed. Oh, you living things. You'll receive my awakening with death. Mercury's unit is met with the enemy. He was a head. It's just a head. I'm the final boss. Well, let's see if they have Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the underworld, dude. Start off with the world card, and then we want the agility on the star, and we want the emperor. Star to help me dodge. Yeah, he's kind of weird looking for the god of the underworld.
Get that Emperor card out. Um, if those heads don't get out of the way, this might be a little tricky. Basically, Warren has to kill them himself. Nope, doesn't count world card. Doesn't count. Hey, quit it. Quit dodging everything. This could be close. Just because if I don't kill him, I have to run. And then I'm out of Yu-Gi-Oh. That shouldn't count either. You poor bastard. That also doesn't work because I played the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Disgusting. There go your goons. All right. I uh, grossly overestimated this boss. Get Oh, wait. Wait, I wasn't done being summoned. Stop it. Oh. Oops. He got the shit kicked out of him. Oops. I guess I brought a bunch of fireworks with me. That's how confident Warren was. No, we're gonna we're gonna use him, trust me, we'll be fine. Just beat the game. Way quicker than I expected. Forty six thousand goth for my retirement fund. Let's see what ending we get. Meanwhile, at Fort Batty, the new kingdom of Zenobia. Thanks to you, the empire has been destroyed. Thank you. You're welcome. Our efforts up till now will not go unrewarded. Yes. I think you've heard, but Rodisti to the north. Seems to have plans for us. I'm very worried about that. The time when we'll need to fight them will come. So I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to become the general over my armies and command as you have. Well, your wish is my command. I'm glad to hear that. With your strength, I can rest assured. Technically, Warren won the entire war for me, but we'll someday be able to create a world with no war. By our hands, peace to the world. And thus a new kingdom was born on the Zetaginian continent. After that, the new kingdom of Zenobia enjoyed long peace under King Tristan. As general, you served your king well and expanded the kingdom far. Huh, that was... That was a very short ending for all the characters I found. Thank you. Will you work for me? Okay, Finn. It was okay. I mean, I'm glad we didn't, you know, create an empire of baby eaters or something. Character and tarot card designed by Aki Yoshida. Thanks, Aki. Main graphics design and image effects by Hiroshi Minigawa. Character animation by S. Tatsuka. I think when we get to the end, it'll show us which ending we got, which tarot card ending we have, because there's one for each card. Battlefields designed by Masanori Hara. Graphics designed by Aki Yoshida, S. Teranishi. Y. Koenagi and K. Matsuda. I'm going to fall behind on these names. Yeah, I know the perfect ending is the main character goes north and then they show up in Ogre Battle 64. Like, if you if you get the perfect ending, you, you fix so many problems, Tristan doesn't need your help, so you just dick off on other adventures. I don't know how different the other endings are, but I definitely got a pretty simple one I think which is a shame because we rest it's like who do we got we had we had Tristan and Ash we had Aishi 
we had Canopus and Gilbert, I think we saved as well. I don't know what characters we missed, but we saved a lot. They seem to have no bearing on my ending at all. Maybe my alignment and uh, reputation tanked right at the end. Radio actors. Oh, those are the voice actors. Fight it out. Lucky. Lily Chow. That's the voice of Lily Chow when you hear that. Lucky. Thank you. Yeah, I guess I never needed the princess, which is good because the princess is super rare and hard to get, it turns out, but so is the lich. I think if I didn't get the princess and I didn't get the lich, even with the merchants, I think the final battle would have been a lot harder. I guess you have the emperor cards though, don't you? I don't know how many attacks we had left. I think we had like another one or two rounds of attacks to kill Diablo. So we really overkilled him there. But if I just had mages, could have been really close. My chaos frame was 85 points and it took me 147 days to end the war. And we got the chariot ending. Okay. I know the perfect ending is the world card. Hundred and forty seven days to end a war. That's not too bad. Half a year. That's like it's like a year of school. But there you go. Ogre battle. One hundred percent not the most efficient way. It's like I spent either I beat it really fast and greasy or I did it really slow and wrong. I don't think I ever really played any map perfectly. Except that final map where I was just fucking pushing everyone. All right, Rashidi, where's my fucking lunch money? Beat the shit out of that final boss. Wowie. That's it for Ogre Battle. I don't know if I'll play Ogre Battle 64. Um, Because, yeah, it sounds really slow. I think I'll probably try Tactics Ogres one day. Because those are different and neat. They seem to have a little more story to them. But that's it for Ogre Battle. You know me, I don't come back to a game after I beat it, so it's not like we'll ever come back and look at the other endings. It's mostly just, like, dialogue. Just talk to people when you're in Zenobia Castle and the credits roll anyways, so. We didn't miss too much in the grand scheme of things. I think I showed a fair bit. Yeah, yeah. We get we get Naked Man ending. What's the problem with that? But thanks for coming out to watch. Hope you enjoyed Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen. I'll be back next time with a new game. I'll see you then.